pull yourself up like using a, like a ladder. Let go of the other hand. And you kind of alternate, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure this looks absolutely ridiculous. It looks, no, it looks like you're doing it in real life, right? I feel like I'm gonna let go and just fall to my death. Now look to your right, and there should be a railing. And try to re grab, grab it. There you go, and pull yourself over. There you go, and drop. Cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull you out. All right. Hey everybody, this is Greg Comparic of TechCrunch, and we're here with Sixth Sense checking out their new STEM motion tracking system. Uh, we've got it paired up with a uh, Oculus Rift up here. So first of all, you can see that I've got I've got hands, which is not something you can do with the Oculus Rift. Um, but another challenge with the Oculus Rift is that generally you can look left, you know, you can look right, you can look up, you can look down, but it's not tracking the position of your head. So if you wanted to lean forward, you can't really do that, which kind of takes you out of the immersion, takes you out of that environment. But if I were to look up in this fireplace here, because I've got this controller strapped to my head up here, I can do that. You know, I can go over to this window. I can look around corners. Uh, as they move forward, they're going to kind of shrink this guy down. It's not going to be a controller strapped to my head. It's going to be a smaller box. But then you can, you can touch things. So as I, as I touch this wall, the, uh, the controller is actually vibrating. And it, it really just adds to the immersion of it. We're going to uh, talk with Sixth Sense a little bit and see what's in these guys, and, under, and they're going to explain how the technology works, and here we go. Here's a 3D printed prototype of what the Sixth Sense will look like in the end. The Sixth Sense uses this base station to generate an electromagnetic play field that can detect the position and orientation of up to five sensors. These sensors come in two forms, a customizable controller that you hold in each hand, or a swappable power pack that can be strapped to your head, waist, or feet. The base station also acts as a charger for all of the devices. Okay, so the next thing we're going to show you um, is a four-point tracking demo. So I'm going to stick um, two more trackers on my feet, one on each foot. But when I look down, you know, I've got you know, a foot that can match my articulation. The, the feet actually have some physics, so I can kind of go in here and kick things around. Oops. You know, every little object that we have physics in here, you can mess around with. So you can really get an idea of, like, it just adds that extra level of immersion to it. But the big ones that really take advantage of the motion capture that we do is the one-to-one -one melee combat. So that would be like if I get out the sword here, hold down the trigger to use it, um, now I control the view like a dual analog style and the path of the controller in my hand is being reflected in true one-to-one. -one. Um, as I move around, it's going to follow exactly what's going on on the screen. It does interact as you would expect it. I can swing high and get a decapitation, or if I get another zombie, I can swing low and take off the legs. It's basically you know, integrated into the physics engine of the game, so it's going to behave as I was expected to. All right, so that was Six Sense's new STEM motion tracking system. Uh, we got to see their five-point tracking, where you can track your hands and your feet and one on your head. Uh, we got to see it paired up with a Oculus Rift, so I had you can see my hands in, in the Oculus, and it was tracking where my head was as I moved it around. Um, and we also saw that I'm really, really bad at attempting to climb virtual ladders. So they're launching on Kickstarter uh, later today, and they're trying to raise a couple hundred thousand bucks. So if you're interested in this tech, go ahead and check that out. Um, overall impression so far is good, very interesting. It needs a little bit of work, and it's definitely going to bank completely on how many developers integrate it. So we'll see. Waving's always good. You said raving? Waving. <laughs> <laughs>